took this last game, which is the game against South Africa, very, very personal. Very, very personal. For people like him and him and Waka and Co and Efri and Co, they've gone through such battles to qualify Ghana to the AFCON. But for me, that was a do and die. That was a do and die for me as, as, a, as an individual because I was just thinking, okay, so God forbid if we don't make it, what does it mean to me? And my prayer has been to make it and then to make it. I hope you understand me. To make it, that is to qualify to the AFCON and to make it. And I hope you understand what I mean by and to make it. So yesterday meant a lot. And I am not sure I can find the right words to thank you guys for what you did. First to the Tenkara team led by CK and all of you. Because after 12 minutes, after 12 minutes, I was asking myself, how are we going to continue to the final whistle? But you guys gave is it double energy or fourth energy or triple energy? I don't know how to describe it. The level of energy you guys put in that job yesterday was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Again, for them, it's another qualification. But for me, it's more than the special birthday gift I asked for a Cuban. Remember when we met here, I asked you guys to fight for a Cuban because he was celebrating his birthday. But for me, it meant so much. And you could feel the vibe in the country that everybody really wanted the qualification. So I say, Minda Masia, for those of you who don't understand you, if I'm to, I'm to thank you, I can't find the right words. All that I say from the right bottom of my heart is I'm grateful. Your FA is grateful and Ghana is grateful. We have made it together under very, very difficult circumstances. On Sunday, like Chairman said, it is the beginning of our preparations for the other one. The other one is the Afcon proper. So don't let us just say that, oh, we have made it. So we're just coming back here to just sleep on the pitch. <clears throat> Let's give a good feeling again to our people. The whole country is recovering from, from Anas Expose, from normalization, I'm talking about football, and from national elections, politically. So when we put up a good job, on Sunday, you'll be healing a lot of wounds. You'll be curing a lot of people who are sick. And you'll be giving hope to a lot of hopeless people in this country. I thank you so much. I thank you. I thank you.